morning, day 54, on a Holly, Holly's Appalachian Trail Adventure. I've got my tent taken down. It is beginning to sprinkle. So I'm hoping to get out of here and get moving before it starts, starts to downpour. So come along for the journey today and we'll see what happens. Our first accomplishment of the day, well, our first was getting out of camp. Our next is making it to Vermont. We have passed into our eighth state on the Appalachian Trail, or I have. This is also the beginning of the long trail. It's still raining. I'm only gonna keep my phone up for 10 seconds. It's dark and dreary. And we've got 10 miles to camp. So for our first day in Vermont, it is living up to its name. A lot of you might not understand or know this, but Vermont is lovingly, or maybe not so lovingly, called Vermud by thru-hikers. <clears throat> and it definitely lived up to its name today. We have um, been walking in the rain since we left camp at around 6.30, I think, this morning. And literally, the trails are mud. Uh, if they're not ankle deep in water, it's ankle deep in mud. So lots of fun, all kinds of fun today. So for day 54, we have gone a big 7.9 miles. We made, we made it over five, so I guess we're happy with that. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do an 8.9 into the town of Bennington, Vermont. We are going to get resupplied with food and we might end up in a hotel. If the weather improves, we might head back out a couple miles to the first shelter. So you will find out after I do. So I am coming to you from in front of the privy. This is a nice one. At the Sherman campground, Sherman something campground. Nope. We were trudging through the rain, the mud all day. It felt like all day. It was really half a day, like four hours, <laughs> five hours. And um, we got to the shelter, we were gonna rest and then make a decision as to whether or not we're gonna push on to the next shelter. In the meantime, six other people um, came through. Three different groups were starting the long trail today, so that was kind of neat. A, um, a husband and wife, and then a dad and son. The son just graduated from high school. He's 18 years old, he's gonna um, do the long trail by himself. Dad's just starting out for 60 miles with him. And then this evening, a dad and daughter came in, and same thing. She's going to be doing the long trail. She gra just graduated college, and dad is just starting out with her for a couple days. So I think that is so cool. Um, yeah, dads are very involved and I, with hikers, it seems to be, and I love seeing that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we are staying in the shelter. It is my hammock friend, um, myself. And then dad and daughter, and then there's another gal that was at the tent site that we were at last night. And she's here as well. She's doing a section hike um, in Vermont. So that is it for now. Often we'll get um, hikers that come in later in the evening, and we'll see if anybody else shows up. But right now it's comfortable in there. We'll see if we have to squeeze. Um, this shelter is not officially open on Far Out yet, but it is definitely very nice and new and there's actually fresh lumber in there so it still smells like new construction which being a carpenter's wife or a builder's wife I love that so uh, I'll show you a picture of the privy from the trail but everything's super muddy so I am not going to be recording as I walk because I don't want to drop the phone and we're just gonna hope that tomorrow is a sunnier day or at least not as rainy of a day as today was and um, I think that's about it for today. I had my dinner of beef jerky and butter, and that's what I had last night, and I felt really good today, energy-wise. So that's what I'm going to kind of keep doing. Uh, lots of high fat and protein in the evening. Okay, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. This video is really, really short, but um, some things cannot be helped. I just hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you next time.
For those of you who might like to dig a little bit deeper and get to know me a little bit more, I've designed a membership called Campfire Calls. It's a donation-based membership. You simply click in the link in the comments section or in the description of this video, and you will get to join me around eight to 10 campfires along the Appalachian Trail as I journey from Harpers Ferry to Katahdin in Maine, and then back from Harpers Ferry to Georgia. And you'll just get to be able to connect with me on a Zoom call and chat, ask questions, and find out more about how the hike is going. So if you'd like to join me, be sure to click the link in the description or in the comment section of this video. Thank you, God bless, and see you next time.